everybody, this is the Vikstrand. So the movie of today is Bordello of Blood, which I guess is part of a sort of anthology of movies that uh, is based around the Crypt Keeper, which is some kind of a burlesque, horror, grotesque uh, comic book of some description. And um, the, these stories are basically presented by the Crypt Keeper, who I don't think appears in this movie. I haven't seen any of the other ones. I know that Demon Knight was a movie that came out around this time. I thought they, that the post for that one was kind of cool, but we I never saw it at the time. And the only movie in this series that I have seen is actually Bordello of Blood. Bordello of Blood is sort of a bad movie, but it knows that it is a bad movie and it toys around with, you know, the concept a lot. And uh, I, I can really enjoy the overacting and I, and I can enjoy the hokey effect and I can enjoy the uh, stupid story that they're telling. But the question is, is it good? We shall find out in a second. This is Bordello of Blood. bunch of people in southern Argentina has just released a bloodthirsty and dangerous vampire from its prison. Unbeknownst to this we have a, a young man in California who you know had some problems with the law and his sister you know fears for his uh, you know soul and stuff like that. She's you know a part of this church with this uh, electric guitar wielding very charismatic um, priest that you know uh, proceeds over and uh, she wants him you know to join the church and become a better person and let God into his life and stuff like that but he says fuck that and instead goes to a bar to have some drinks and stuff like that. Him and a bunch of his friends go to a bar to have some beers and chill out. There they meet a man who tells them that there is a place where uh, if they have you know the right password and stuff like that they can get some serious actions with the babes and um, willing to bet on this chance to have some pussy they go they go to this place which is kind of this funeral parlor that moonlights as a bordello. They are of course immediately taken by the beauty of these women and wants to bang all of them. But the problem is that uh, like from dusk till dawn, it turns out that uh, these uh, ladies are actually vampires. And uh, now he has basically vanished. But the sister contacts a private investigator kind of down on his luck. And uh, he's a little smitten by her and tries you know, to hit on her, but uh, her heart belongs to God, so he has no luck there. But he starts the investigation and now, you know, the movie uh, is off to the races. And as I said, Bordello of Blood kind of knows that it is a hokey, uh, stupid, uh, overacting movie and uh, it kind of rolls with it. I like the fact that uh, it knows that it's bad and, and the hokey overacting and the fake looking sets are a joy to see. I kind of wish this movie could have been either a a really fun comedy or more of an actual horror film. It tries to be both but it is unable to balance the comedy and the horror because it is not very scary and the comedy isn't very funny. It's not haha funny but it is kind of hilarious in how awkward the humor is. Um, do I recommend this movie? Yeah, it is, uh, it is an okay movie. It is very predictable even though I didn't see the ending that I guess almost 99.9% .9 of the audience saw coming. I was kind of, huh? They did that? The movie has a good pace, it's entertaining and it moves so fast that you really don't have time to think of how stupid the entire thing is. In the end this is pretty harmless corny 90s stuff and if you're into that sort of thing there is a lot of fun little small aspects of this movie to enjoy. Otherwise this movie is you know nothing special but you're never bored and the characters are quite fun actually. It's a difficult movie to rate when you're thinking about it. It is entertaining, it is fast paced and uh, some of the jokes actually kind of works and the ending was a, a bit fun. But it is also a movie that doesn't really know what it is and the balance between humor and horror doesn't work and the horror really doesn't work as a horror movie, as a grotesque burlesque uh, uh, spookery pookery it kind of works and the comedy isn't allowed to be as fun as it could have been. This movie could have been a lot more absurd and a lot more fun than it actually was but uh, I give this movie 45 points. It is entertaining nonsense but it's also quite forgettable. You won't remember seeing it I mean two three weeks afterwards. It doesn't leave a lasting impression. So I'll see you next time for well so and so reviewing well such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.